Hey guys, real quick before we get into the video, I uh, appreciate all the support, all the comments. I definitely love responding to everything. And uh, we we hit the uh, we hit the hundred mark uh, as of shooting this. I've actually got 194 subscribers. I appreciate it uh, more than you know. And I think uh, you know we got to set a new goal. So I was originally going to do 200, but we're almost there. So I want to try and get to 500. If you like the videos, hit the subscribe button, uh, give it a like. If you got any questions, comments, or anything, shoot them down below. I'll answer them the best that I can. And uh, you know if you like the diesel content. Like I said, give it a subscribe. I've got some other stuff working on uh, the truck. I'll do some towing videos and things like that. But let's get in the video and uh, see how the truck did. Got it all loaded up. You can see the uh, the big rig there and the uh, get the diesel all filled up here. Uh, about 13 gallons, just getting it all topped off. As you can see, we loaded this one to the gills because that truck's going to be staying down in Arkansas. And just a little bit in the back of the diesel. So this should be a pretty uh, easy drive. Shouldn't be a whole lot wrong. Uh, we'll kind of see what the gas mileage is getting and uh, just take it easy and update as we go. It's about uh, 900 miles, give or take, and see how it does. All right. Quick update, we've been on the road for a little bit, um, about 35 miles. So far it's getting 24.1, uh, we got another 382 miles to go, just trailing the, uh, the beast there, so that's where we're at, Everything, uh, everything's looking good, and hopefully we can squeeze a couple more miles a gallon out of it and uh, see where it gets us, hang tight and We'll be back. update uh went 264 miles uh, it says 29.6 got the beast up there uh we're having to go a little bit slower it uh we're buzzing right along at 70 but i don't think that truck enjoys the load that's in the back and transmission is getting a little warm so we backed it down we've been kind of going between 60 and 65 just kind of playing it by ear watching the temp uh, you know, it's down to where it should be. I think I just put way too much of a load uh, in the back of that thing and uh, kind of overestimated, shall we say. But it's doing well. Uh, like I said, that truck's got 250 plus thousand miles. So, I mean, I give it a little bit of credit for making this uh, six plus hour trip so far, you know, without an issue. We got another, uh, what do we got? Two hours to go. So we'll check in when we get there and hang tight. All right, just got the load dropped. Unfortunately, we were having issues with the, uh, the volume on this section, so. We, uh, we stopped at the local Walmart and we're going to fill it up. Fuel was $2.99 a gallon, so about 20 cents cheaper than home. And uh, the truck ran and drove out great. Like I said, there wasn't really a load in the back of mine. I was just more or less a trailing vehicle with a couple extra things back there. So we're going to get it topped off and see how it did. All right, so fuel's getting ready to click off. We're gonna wait 30 seconds and see how it does. All right, so it's all done. We're gonna give it one last click and uh, see ultimately what the final number is. Looks like 38.56, 13 gallons. 
All right, guys, we just got done with the trip. Uh, it's just under 850 miles, uh, like 848 and some change, give or take. The uh, the truck did great, uh, kind of like you saw, I didn't have much in the back. Uh, the way down, it was uh, you know, obviously trailing the other truck and you know we kind of had some issues along the way. So the way down, it was kind of going between 60 and 65, just depending. I had to keep changing my crews because I'd catch up to them and then I'd kind of fall behind. So got that uh, that leg of the trip done on the way back. I was kind of playing with it a little bit. Uh, most of the trip I went 70. I brought it down to 68, 69 to kind of watch the instant fuel to see where it was at. But did amazing. Uh, filled up down there and I've got the video on that. But kind of like I said, the, uh, the audio wasn't working. But got it back here and uh, got over half a tank. And let's uh, let's flip and see. So as you can see, above half, uh, 420.4, and says we're averaging 34.2 miles per gallon on this tank. Let's go down to the, where is it at? There we go. Last 400 miles, uh, averaging 34.5, and my best was 34.5. So that is great for uh, the 400 mile range. And let's see, we'll go to 50. 38.7 was my best, not bad. And 25, 43 miles per gallon. So I will, uh, I'll take it for sure. Let's, uh, let's fill it up, see what it's looking like and see what the total trip uh, mileage was. All right, just arrived. We're actually at Casey's. Uh, since the last time, they've been doing some uh, upgrades and got the new sign and everything. Let's fill this up and see how it did. Sorry, it's gonna be a little windy. Got the cap. Like I said, if you haven't uh, haven't looked, I'll see about throwing a link down in the description. Definitely nice having that, just so people don't get it confused. Damn it. Nice little mess. Nineteen a gallon. We got uh, we got her all filled up, and this time it uh, took 12.109 gallons for 38.74. Uh, did the calculation? I'll throw it up on the screen. So for the trip back, it was getting 34.8 miles per gallon. Like I said, I was going roughly 68 to 70 the whole trip. I didn't go over 70 unless I was passing somebody. Um, and then I calculated, uh, the trip down and the trip back and it was getting 33.7, I think I'll shoot it up here on the screen. Unfortunately, notes are on the camera that I'm using, but that, uh, I think that's great. I mean, setting the cruise at 70 and, you know, not being in any rush, 70 is plenty fast and being able to get, you know, over 30 miles a gallon, getting, you know, almost 34 miles a gallon in a full size truck is fantastic. So Again, as you've seen in my last videos, if you have any doubts on these, go drive one and you won't have doubts anymore. The The fuel mileage is great. Obviously you have the comfort of a full size truck. You're not having to sacrifice. Oh, I wanna get, you know, I wanna get good fuel mileage, but I wanna have a truck. This is the best of both worlds and uh, you're, you're not gonna go wrong. So like I said, stay tuned, watch the uh, the rest of my videos and uh, be prepared for some more to come. Hopefully here soon, we'll do some with towing and see how it does there. 
and I'm sure it's it's gonna do great. It's probably gonna blow everything else that I've used out of the water. So appreciate you guys watching and uh, we'll see you next time.